Hello and welcome to video 15 of our PHP web developing tutorials. In this video we're going to look at PDO and connecting to a MySQL database from PHP using the best way of connecting to it I think. But uh, there's a few ways that you can, can connect to a MySQL database. One being a MySQL connect itself which is kind of like a function connects to the SQL server and then there's MySQL I and then there's PDO. PDO has a lot of advantages to the MySQL connect where it has automatic escaping of of values uh, and lets you bind values and it lets you do transactions really well so um, we're going to be using it when I learned I originally learned the MySQL connect I found out that there was a lot of disadvantages to that so I'm going to show you the the good way of connecting to MySQL databases so in our header we're going to create some PHP variables and we're going to have a a function in here as well so let's go ahead and create a variable for hosting and we're just going to set this equal to localhost actually we need to go ahead and start our PHP tag here and let's end it down here and quote that okay and we're going to have a user and that user is going to be webdev1 our user that we created for our MySQL database and we're going to have a database name we'll just say DB and to line this stuff up yep, webdev1 and we'll say pass equals webdev1 now this is the connection information that we're going to use to connect to the, to the server we're going to create a let's save that we're going to create a PDO connection and to do this we're going to use objects and we haven't really talked about objects yet but just do what I do and then we'll, later on when we talk about objects a little bit more you'll understand what's going on so we're going to create an ODB you could name this anything you want I'm just calling it ODB for object database and it's going to be set equal to new PDO and we're going to say MySQL and the first uh, first thing in the connection string that we're going to put is the host so we're going to concatenate to that string we're going to say actually let's we'll put host here we'll concatenate the host variable up there now we put a semicolon db name and actually I forgot my equal sign over here so let's do that equals host equals and then the host name and then db equals and we'll say the db well, that's the that's the end of the connection string, and then we have to give the user that we're going to connect with, uh, not this user, user, and pass. So the user and pass that we're connecting with. So we have an ODB object that's created. We're going to save that. Now we can actually query stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this as the header in our document, and go back to the index.php, and up here after we can say up here but before this we can say php include uh, once honestly it's required require once and this is require that we learned earlier the header.php I'm going to put that up here I should have just copied and pasted it but you're going to have to copy along too so we'll take these out and we'll take this out so what we can do now is we'll and, and we're not going to learn object oriented PHP at the moment. We're just going to do some procedural inline functional type PHP. So the PHP in the body, we're going to pull in some PHP. And we're going to connect to that database using this object that we created. Actually, we already said it equals. Let's, let's create a query equals. Now we're going to select asterisk from user like that. And we're going to ODB, let's actually say result equals ODB query and then the query itself. So now we have a result variable which should give us the information from our query. So let's just bar dump that so that we can see if it gives us what we want. Result. So let's save that. Now let's uh, take a look. We have a PDO object and it shows us the query string, but it doesn't have the results. What I forgot was that we have to grab that result. We should be able to say that. We can say, let's go 
because that's an object, we can actually pull that in. From, let's take out the bar dump and let's do uh, if the result row count, which is a PDO function for counting the rows. If it's greater than zero, then for each result as item, let's echo the item. Actually, let's do a var dump here. Var dump the atom. You have to excuse me a little bit, it's been a while since I used PDO because I'm I've been in frameworks so long that I just about forgot how to use it. But if we look at our results here we have it shows us and we might be able to see this better from yeah. So each one of those results is going is giving us an array and we see the first item is number one Randy thirty four H thirty four number two brandy h33 so those are our records that are in our user table what we could do is we can actually do an echo uh, we'll say item name and we'll say is uh, let's put a space here before this is age and we'll say Okay, and what that's going to say is for each one of those items, it's going to give us that. And we're just going to put a break at the end of it. And I'm going to go ahead and throw a line, uh, a new line character in there as well so that our source will look better. And we'll save that and refresh this page. Now let's go back to the actual page itself and refresh it. Now see, we're getting this data straight from the database. We run this query the select asterisk from user and we're taking the results from that query and if it, if there's a if there are results like the result row count is greater than zero that means we've got more than one result then for each one of those row counts or for each one of those rows in the uh, result as item so we take every one of the results and it's going to be called item every time we loop through this loop we're going to echo the item name is item age years old so that's how we're getting the results we're getting and video 15 is probably going to have to end there and we're going to do some more videos on using PDO a little bit more one thing I'll have to do is go practice it a little bit because it's been a while since I've used it video 16 which I'd plan to make on cookies I think probably we'll, we'll devote about four more videos to PDO it's I want to really get you a lot using it a lot learning a lot more about it so uh, you can look forward to more videos on PDO and and d dealing with some data there working with that data a little bit more in PHP so I hope you enjoyed the video please subscribe